Hi everyone, wanted to share with you a pedestal birdhouse that I altered and I purchased this from my local Michaels and it originally um, looked like this um, but this one's a different shape birdhouse they come in different um, shapes and it's really adorable As you can see it's unfinished wood and then it's um, on this really adorable pedestal and these are really fun to alter and so I created this uh, for my mom and with it being springtime birdhouses are really fun projects to um, create this time of the year and I wanted um, this for her um, kitchen and what I did first was I painted the entire birdhouse and the pedestal using the folk art clover acrylic paint it's a really gorgeous green and then I went over that with the crackle medium and then I went over that with the vintage white. And once I heat set um, it all, I distressed it with a vintage photo distress ink. And then I took my Tim Holtz retractable scratcher and I scratched random parts of the birdhouse. You can see here. You can see it a lot underneath. I wanted it to look as though it's been outside for quite some time. I also did it to the bottom of the pedestal here and it was really fun to do and then so I also heat set um, my heat gun really close to the paint so it would bubble up see that and so that's what I did and then on the bottom of the pedestal I add six of the Iron Roses two-tone leaves and I'll have all the information of all the flowers and leaves that I use from Iron Roses on my blog and then I sprayed that with the scintillating silver so I wrapped it all the way around the pedestal on the bottom and then this R77 flower all the flowers that I used were originally white I uh, stained that well I sprayed that with the Lindy Stamp Gang Wild um, Honeysuckle Coral which is a really gorgeous coral and then I sprayed over that with the Glitz Cactus Gold and then I distressed um, the edges a little bit with my distress ink. And then for the cherry blossom, I just spray that with the scintillating silver to give it some shimmer. And then I add two of Carla's two-tone wheat sprays in the brown. And then the paper collection that I used is Prima's Songbird Collection, which is really adorable collection. And it was just perfect for this birdhouse. And this was one of the little tickets from the design paper and it says best friends forever and I just cut that out and I hot glued it down and then on these white gardenias here, there's two of them here I sprayed that with the fuzzy navel peach which is a really gorgeous peach color and then I sprayed it over that with again the scintillating silver and then I here's another um, cherry blossom that I added Okay, so that's what I did to the bottom. And then on the actual pedestal, one of the design papers, um, let me show you here, had these cute little banners, which is this one right here. And I thought it'd be really cute to use that as a ladder. So I distress the edges with a vintage photo, and I just add five little steps here. So it looks like a cute little ladder going up the tr um, birdhouse like it would be on a treehouse. And then on the top here, I wanted to create it where I can um, make it into a mini album as well. And I couldn't pop the back like I had done on a prior birdhouse. So what I did was I created my roof as my mini album. And so I cut some of the design paper and then I first hot glued the first one down here and then I took um, the other five in the same size and distressed all the edges with the vintage photo and I scored it at a quarter of an inch and then you can see here it, um, I can add photos these um, I cut from the design paper so this is a cute little um, Polaroid film and then you can see the design paper because it's not double sided so I just add these um, cute little frames and um, tags that were on the design paper and just place it on there. So 
I could use that as my journaling spot. And then I could put a photo here um, for my mom. So I, I love how it looks. Um, the next time I make my other one, um, I'm going to actually make the pages, um, each page, shorter and shorter. That way it looks more like a roof. Um, but this one I wanted to put full-size photos for her. And then I just did basically the same thing um, to the other side. Again, you know, just add these pre-cut images. Really cute. It's a really adorable uh, paper collection. I really love the bird on the branch. And then I add um, this beautiful trim, one of, one of my favorite trims from Hobby Lobby. And then on the top here I add Carla's flower trim and one of Carla's um, birds on the top of the roof. And then on around the roof here, this is another trim from Hobby Lobby. So I wrapped it, as you can see, all the way around. And then the front here, I add the gorgeous Iron Roses White Spray, and I spray that with the scintillating silver. Here's another um, gardenia that I sprayed with uh, the Wild Honeysuckle Coral, and then sprayed over that with the scintillating silver, and then another cherry blossom. And then this is another image that I fussy cut, so it says beautiful. And then it has that cute little bird right there. And so that's my project. Um, that I created for my mom. And again, I'll have all the information um, on the um, my blog of all the flowers that I used um, from Iron Roses. Oh, I forgot to show you the back. I cut one of the design papers that had three of the birds. And so that's it. Um, this is going to be of, I'm going to put pictures of me, my mom, and my sister. So there's three birds. So it's my mom, me, and my sister. So that's what I did, and really fun to make. I really enjoyed making this, and I hope she likes it. And again, all the information and will be um, on my blog, and again, you can get all these gorgeous flowers at imrose.com. So thank you for watching. Bye.